Look at this titty baby ass motherfucker. Bro, there's a lot going on in 2024, man. And I hate for it to start off like this. Is it just this year a lot of stuff's going on? That's every year, motherfucker. And what he really means when he says, I hated that it started out like this. What he really means is, I love being a titty baby drama queen. It's exactly what he meant. Um, but I got to speak on something real quick, y'all. Hopefully, y'all can watch to the end of this video and, you know what I'm saying, see, see what's really going on. What's really going on? Uncover the veil. The fuck? This is one of the motherfuckers that makes the titles. It's like, scientists found something mystically dangerous for the entire world. Everyone's in danger. So, this is more of a message from a fan to up church, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, you were one of the first people I really reacted to on here on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Reacting to your music or whatever, even buying your music. You know what I mean? That's kind of the highest peak of what you can do, you know what I'm saying, as a person that's a fan of an art form. But it's like, as of lately, uh, your comments on Instagram and, like, your... I don't know what you got going on personal, so we're not going to get into all that. What in the fuck? What kind of sentence was that? Are you hearing this guy? He said, I don't know what he's got going on in his personal life. But we ain't gonna get into all that. You just say you don't know about it. How can you get into something you don't know about? You're already into something you don't know about. Fucking hip hop, jackass. But for me, it's like, bro, I'm on your Instagram. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> and let me guess, I'm doing something and typing something that you don't like. You you call out Tom McDonald. Guess what, motherfucker? It don't matter if you like it or not, fool. The fuck is wrong with you? You're supposed to be a damn... You're supposed to be a, a reaction page to rap music. But your language arts vagina got sore because a rapper said something about a rapper you have a crush on. And I'm being serious, bro. Like, he actually got a crush on dude. Like, it's, it's okay for people to like me and Tom... Who the fuck, if anybody's trying to dictate you doing that, they're a fucking psycho. But when you get on here as a fucking, a reactor of rap music, and you're on here fucking jiggling your titties and pumping your calf muscles to make a public service announcement. Guys, this is my last reaction to this guy. Seriously, like, effing what? Effing? Well, then no, you don't look like a fucking person who knows about hip-hop, motherfucker. You're a reaction channel. You're supposed to be the damn battle rap referee. You're supposed to be the reaction channel. Not the fucking guy with the fucking skirt and the pom poms on the longest yard. You you call out Tom McDonald. Yeah, motherfucker. Do you forget what rap was? You call out Tom McDonald. Yes, yes, we know. And he don't say nothing back. Then people like you come out and fucking start acting like it's some fucking Jerry Springer show, flipping y'all's motherfucking wig, being like, "Oh my god, dude, seriously, uh, rap battling is illegal." Somebody call the FBI. This man is doing his job. Oh my god, he is. Get a manager. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm calling the authorities right now. Hey, you. Uh, sir, were you rap battling? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a rapper. <laughs> All right, sir, put your hands behind your back. You're, you're going to prison for 7,000 years. Like, damn, son, we get it. We, you probably grew up in a privileged household. When something don't go your way, you fucking cry like a little bitch. I mean, that's cool and everything, but just, it ain't hip-hop. Sorry, player. What are you going to say? You know hip-hop better than me? Yeah, sounds good, but I'm the rapper, not you, so. Crying over rap battles and competition. Yeah. What the fuck's your shirt say? Save the children. Yeah, I'm with you on that. But I, I just what I'm saying is I don't think you're saving anything ever. You're, you're, you're on YouTube crying about two grown-ass men having a... a a rap battle. You, big, tall-ass motherfucker. I don't think you could save anything. You see what I'm saying? You cry about words. I ain't trying to be a dick. I'm just, that is exactly what is on the screen. It is a big-ass, 250-pound dude who has a shirt on that says, Save the Children. And he's on here being like, bro, boo fucking who? Like, guys. Public service announcement. Public service announcement. Oh, man. Oh, man, I'll tell you. Oh, man. I'm sure it was being mean. It was being worse to Thomas. Get the fuck, get the fuck out of here with that shit, bro. Come on, son. Come on. You want to talk about we're starting off 2024 like this? Hey, man. You can say whatever you want about me, but here's the real on that. I'm a redneck white guy from Tennessee wearing a tractor supply hat that has mission teeth and a fucking rebel flag tattoo, and I'm the one 
trying to preserve hip hop history because people like this dude are fucking it up. They're trying to deface it from its roots and take the face of hip hop away and give it to these mainstream motherfuckers like Tom McDonald. No, that can't happen. And that's the thing. If somebody makes a diss track on me, the reactors, whether I win or lose, I want them to tell the truth. Even if I lose, that's hip hop. That's how you get better. Real hip hop, real hip hop. And listen, I know there's so many people in the comments all the time like, well, the, this person gets more views. Real hip hop people don't care about views like you do. We don't see it the same. Do you understand that? I still get a fuck ton of views that I'm grateful for. But when you're trying to compare numbers, numbers doesn't mean jack shit to people like us. The part hip hop heads like myself love is the skill and the talent and the creativity. That's the art of it. You you are talking about the numbers of it. Well, the numbers has, has misconstrued the art. So people like myself and millions of others, we like rap for the talent and the creativity. We like rap for a sport. We like it for a competition. If you want to be one of those white ribbon people, then go be one of the white ribbon people. But if you're a white ribbon rapper or a white ribbon reactor, you can't expect a blue ribbon artist or a blue ribbon reactor to take you serious. It's just not, it's not the same thing. It's, there's dope, there's levels to this shit. Better yet, there's brackets to this shit. That's why people like this guy in this reaction act how he do. Do you think that dude could be at a, a battle rap convention? Fuck no. He would throw up, gag himself, fucking call an ambulance, call 911, call the Air Force, pick me up. He would not survive. He would not know what to do. He'd be like, oh my God, are they saying this kind of shit to each other here? Yeah, motherfucker, it's battle rap. What are you going to do? Stop the whole fucking battle while everybody's listening and be like, um, excuse me, guys, 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 illegal, yellow flag, yellow flag. He's an anti-Semitic paleontologist. Where's the manager? I have a bone to pick. Penalty, penalty. He's racist against skeletons. And they don't have skin. See what I'm saying? I'm just I just have to let you know, bro. Like you being kind of a sissy, bro. And and like I really ain't trying to shit on you. I'm not. That's why I'm not being horrible and saying a bunch of fucking mean shit. But bro, it's hip hop. Okay? Don't turn it into some pussy shit like everything else is turned into some pussy shit, all right? And that's coming from a redneck, bro. That should be embarrassing enough. Reaction pages are a very important role, especially in rap music. Because, and this is the reason why, because they'll tell you when your shit sucks. Yeah. Now, there's a difference between being a reaction page and being a damn fan page. It's cool. Both of those are cool. That reason. They'll tell you if your shit sucks. But you can't be a fan page and want to be looked at as a reactor. That's why I like Shaq. That's why I like Ray Reacts. That's why I like Loke Reacts. That's why I like Captain Kurt Reacts. That's why I like JK Bros. Because they ain't gonna blow smoke up your ass, bro. If you lost, you lost. If you won, you won. But they'll also tell you when your shit's fired. Now, if you got somebody telling you the truth about if your shit sucks or not, chances are you'll transform into somebody who just never sucks, bro. For real. If you're passionate about it like that, look, nobody reads books no more. This is going to be history, bro. This, this is going to be history in thousands and thousands and thousands and tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of ways. But one of those ways is hip-hop. Here's the thing. In the very near future... Everybody and their mama is going to be able to know how to look up and see. And it's going to be real accessible on who is attached to all these bot farms. If you don't know what a bot farm is, I suggest you look it up. Vice has a whole documentary on it. And it's going to be real accessible to see how many artists and which artist is paying a fuck ton of money for views. So I would say on the reaction side, probably focus on the talent. Because there's going to be a lot of shit in the future, near future, that is going to surprise you about some artists. Oh, yeah. Imagine mainstream artist wearing the costume of an independent artist and lying to you about it.
That's for you to decide. You the reactor, not me, player.